All right, let's make some magic. This is gonna be attempt two on making cosmically themed blanks. So I already did attempt one, you guys saw that one. And I needed to have a little less clear and a lot less black. So I'm just gonna have black be a little interest, but I want to do a flip pour casting. So we've got interference red, interference violet, the hollow flakes, and this violet blue. So let's see how this goes. All right. Now what I'm gonna to use today, I've got the leftovers of some Illumilite that's thickened up on me, and so I'm just gonna dump the rest of this out and we'll get all of this going all at once. Just wanna use up the rest of it. We're gonna do a dump pour like I said earlier. grams which is not ideal but we're gonna try and go ahead with this anyway might just take longer to set up we'll just have to see of course might not set up at all too we'll just just don't know we'll just pour all these back into our black and then we'll dump these out of the black. I just popped these out of the pressure pot, so let's see how, what we got. Pop those out of there. Well, that's kind of cool. It's kind of split right down the middle. I like how that blue and violet intermixed in the black there. That looks really neat. You can see right along the border where that violet transitions into the lighter pigmented red and purple interference dyes or interference pigments and it actually transitions into a violet a violet hue that is really neat I like how that one turned out that looks really cool this one it's got some decent intermixings you can see where I went through and kind of tried to mix in with a popsicle stick and push some of the colors down and pull them up. You can see the dips kind of go down through there as well. Didn't quite get that full. It's not a full 5 8 there. You see the width there, but it's not doesn't have the height here. Taller down here at the end, so I didn't have my my blank my mold level either. It was tipping this way, this way. But the colors in there look great though. I really like those colors. This one had got a lot of the interference red and purple. A little bit of the black just kind of right through there. But you can see where you know it does dip down right in the middle here, so there'll be an interesting spot right through there. 
almost got a full 5.8 five eighths top and bottom on this one. That looks really neat. It's got some purple in there, some more of the red interference on this one, and then the violet interference. You can see some of the violet interference there up in the front, right through there. And then goes some of the red, and then some of that purple violet mixed right there in the top on this side. Let's get this blank pulled apart. No, oh, that's got some cool mixtures in there. See where it wisps down like that. We've got the blue violet transitionals right here. Got interference violet right there. Some interference red. Got a vein of it through there. It curls up through here and comes back down. That looks neat. You can see some of the black dips down right there. It's intermixed some. You can see it's kind of dark here. So it looks like the black does come down a ways. Really neat. Alright, well, attempt two. I, I think that the bottle stopper is going to look kind of cool. And I, I'm looking forward to this three quarter. This one, I think, it has probably the best, best intermixing that I'm going to get out of them. But I, I wish that I could get more, more of it swirling. I just don't think I'm going to get it with the, you know, using up the last remnants of resin that are you know almost expired. I'm going to get some fresh stuff and retry this method because I think I've got some good intermixing, and I get even better if I used fresher resin because then once it's in the molds, it'll kind of churn freely in the mold as it's setting up. And that'll really intermix it a lot. So I'm going to get some fresh resin and we'll go for an attempt three here real soon. Thank you so much for joining me out in the shop. Uh, here's a little look at my back wall here. Got just some of my leather work and stuff. I just want to say thank you guys so much for joining me out in the shop today. Come on by and we'll have some more fun. I plan on doing a lot more of these cosmic blanks doing some testing and seeing what's going to work. So come on by, join me on out the shop, hit that subscribe button got right here in the center and check out some of my other videos here on the sites. And this is Suits Crafting out in the Suits Crafting Leather Shop, signing out.